Okay, good morning, class. So as I said, we are probably a uh, load shedding, but let's see how far we get. So at this point, we're looking at book E, worksheet one. Book E, worksheet one. And so now. Okay. So uh, in the first worksheet, what we have is, or in number one, we have three minus half divided by a fifth. So what needs to be done first? Division. division. So division will change to multiplication in number and time. So it's three minus half multiplied by five over. Yeah. Is there anything that can cancel here? No? Okay. No. So it's going to be three minus five over two. What's my LCM between 1 and 2? 2. So I multiply this by 2. This I multiply by 1. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 plus 5. And 6 plus 5 is? Minus. So 6 minus 5 is 1. So the answer is? Thank you. You guys understand? Yes. Next. Number three. We got three and three sevens divided by four plus four and a fifth divided by seven. So what needs to be done first? Change the improper, Change the, the improper fractions, yes? Let's start there. So that gives us 21 plus 3 is 24 over 7. Is that correct? Division can change to multiplication. A quarter plus, that's 21 over 5, must be multiplied by 1 over 7. What needs to be done now? Multiplication. Multiplication. Okay. 4 going to 4 once, so 4 going to 24? 6 times. Nothing else can cancel this. 7 going to 7 once, 7 going to 21? 3 times. Nothing else can cancel this. 6 multiplied by 1 is 6, 7 multiplied by 1 is 7, plus... 3 multiplied by 1 is 3, over 5 multiplied by 1 is 5. What's my LCM here? Yeah? Hmm? 35. So I'll multiply this by 5. Multiply it by 7. So 6 multiplied by 5 is 30 plus 21. In other words, it's going to be 51 over 35. Any number that goes into 51 into 35 without remainder. 17 going to 34, so no, there's no number. Okay, this could also be written as 1 and 16 over 35. Right, you all agree with that? We've got number 5. What do we need to do to f uh, first in number 5? Change the improper fraction. So multiply with it. Multiply with it. This we can change to multiplication, tumble and times. Not so? Yes. Okay, let's prepare. So it's 12 plus 1 is 13 over 12 minus 16 over 9 multiplied by 1 over 8 multiplied by 3 over 10. So what needs to be done first now? Multiplication. Not so? Yes, sir. Simplify that thing. So it's going to be 13 over 12 minus 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 9, thrice. 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 16 twice. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 10, 5 times. So what are we left with? We left with 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 5. So 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 5 is? What's your LCM now? 60. 12 multiplied by what is 60? 5. 15 multiplied by what is 60? So 13 times 5 is 15 carry 1. It's going to be 65 minus 4. What's 65 minus 4? 61 over 60. Or 1 and 1 over 60. Who got this answer? Okay. Any confusion here?
Right, so what needs to be done first is number seven. Change the Change the proper fraction. So you multiply by eight. Multiply by eight. Multiply by eight. So you even multiply by ten is hundred and ten plus seven is one one seven over ten. Minus that is seventy two plus seven is seventy nine over nine. Plus fourteen over five. You will agree with that? What needs to be done now? The brackets. Okay, it's going to be 117 over 10 minus, what's the LCM inside the bracket? 45. So let's multiply this by 5, and this is multiplied by 9. So 17, 5, 79 times 5 is 45, or is 35, 39. 395 plus 14 times 9. 14 is going to be 4 times 9 is 36. Uh, 96. If I add 96 to uh, 95, it can be 11 carry 1, so it's 19, so 419. So it's 117 over 10 minus 491. Do you guys get it? No. Okay. Let's check. Where did I go wrong? That is uh, 110 plus, that's correct. 72, 79 is correct, it's 10, 14 is correct. The LCM is 45, 79 times 5 is 45. So they give you 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 395 is correct. 14 multiplied by 9 is 36, 3 is 96. It's also correct. So it's 395. So it's going to give you 1, carry 1, it's 19, 491. Sorry? Yeah. Yes, I didn't add it, you are right. And I did the same mistake twice. You know why? Because I was keeping my eye on that. So I'm trying to see if my mistake. I should have just multiplied it up. 14 times 9. 36. Can I give you 9 plus 3? Yes, sure. 126. There we go. No? There we go. And you add uh, 395, gives you 11. It's 12. And 5, five to 1. Is that now correct? Huh? There we go. 5 to 1. Over. Sorry about that. So what do we do now? LCM. What's your LCM? 90. 90. Because that 45, 10 can't go into 45. Now we use uh, multiples of 45, which is the 90. So I multiply this by 9. So 117 multiplied by 9. 9 times 7 is 63. It's 9 plus 6 is 15, 19, 105, 3. Minus? The so seven multiply by two. Correct? Then make another mistake. What is wrong? Yeah, it's coming probably from outside. You like to move? Move, there's a lot of space up here. Okay, so you're multiplying it by two. 1 times 2 is 2, 4, 1, oh, 4, 2. So 1, oh, 5, 3 minus 1, oh, 4, 2. Subtract, you get 1. Is that 11? Who got 11 over 90? Right. 11 over 90. Sorry about the mistake there. <laughs> 11 over 90. Sorry? Just skip, okay? No, 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 no. I don't want the video to be too long. So we can come back. Okay. okay, so in number nine, what needs to be done first? Change to? Improper fraction. Okay, as you can see, we can't change that to multiplication as yet because of the 
mix for uh, the, the mix fraction that follows the division sign. Okay. So that's going to give you three minus six over five divided by twenty-one over ten. Now we're going to change this to multiplication tumble in terms. So it's three minus six over five multiplied by ten over twenty-one. What needs to be done first? Multiplication. It's going to be 3 over 1 minus 6 over... 16. We're going to simplify. Is there any number that can simplify here? Yeah? 5 going to 5 once, 5 going to 10 twice. 3 going to 6 twice, 3 going to 21, 7 times. 2 multiplied by 2 is? 4 over 7. What's your LCM here? 7. So it's multiplied by 7. Multiplied by 1. 3 times 7 is 21 minus 4. What's 21 minus 4? 17. 17 over 7. Any confusion there? Huh? No? Look at number 11. Number 11, uh, you got 2 plus 3 divided by 6. What needs to be done first? The division not so. That will become 2 plus 3 over 1 multiplied by 6 over 1. Remember, we tumble in. Even though 3 can cancel 6, they can be simplified. But because it's a division, we don't simplify across a division sign. Okay. Is there anything that can cancel here? No. So it's 2 plus 3 multiplied by 6 is 18 over. 1, which is 18, give me an answer of 20. Okay. Number 13. We've got 3 over 8, or 3 eighths, divided by 3 minus 3 over 4, multiplied by 5 over 8. What needs to be done first? Huh? The bracket. Can I, do, can I change this already to multiplication? No. So it's 3 over 8 divided by, what's your LCM inside this bracket? Okay, we know that 3 minus 3 quarters is 2 and a quarter. And you can convert it in. But let's add dumb and we say, okay, we don't know that. Okay. So we say 4. What must 1 be multiplied by to get 4? 4. So 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Minus. 4 multiplied by what is 4? 1. So that's going to give you 3 multiplied by 5 over 8. So 12 minus 3. What's 12 minus 3? 9. So that is simply 9. Okay. So what are we going to do now? Change to multiplication. Tumble in times. So it's 3 over 8. Must be divided by, uh, multiplied by 4 over 9 multiplied by 5 over 1. Now what do we do? We cancel. Not so. Anything that can cancel here? 3 going to 3 once, 3 going to 9, 3 times. 4 going to 4 once, 4 going to 8. Four. Anything else? So what are we left with? 1, 1, 5 on top in the numerator. Then 2, 3, 8 in the denominator. What's 1 multiplied by 1? Multiply by 5, 2 multiply by 3, 6 times 8, 48. Okay. Is there any confusion there? None yet. Okay. Number 15, the last one. So um, we have 4 in brackets. We've got 4 and 2 sevens minus 4.2 divided by. 1.7 minus 1 and 2 thirds. What do we need to do first? Change everything to the uh, improper fractions. Okay, that's going to change. That's going to change. And that here as well. So 7 multiplied by 4 is 28 plus 2 is 30. So it's 30 over 7 minus this can be written as 42 over. Can I drop this bracket? No, why not? It's not one fraction yet. Okay. Can I swap this around? 
No, it's not one fraction yet. Okay? So it's going to be 1.7 can be written as 17 over 10 minus. That's going to give you 5 over. Okay. So what is your LCM inside the first bracket? 17. How do we get 17? We look at the biggest denominator, which is 10. 7 can't go into 10. Now we count in multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And of course, 70 is the one. Okay. So 7 multiplied by what is 17? 10. So that's going to give us 300. 7, uh, 7 multiplied by 10. 17. And 42 times 7. Okay, so that's going to give you 300 minus 42 times, so it's going to be 14 carry 1, 28, 29, 294. Is that correct? Minus, or divide it by? What's your LCM inside this bracket? 30. So let's multiply that by 3. You will multiply 17 by 3, I think you get 51. Yes, 51. Minus, remember, I'm multiplying this by? 3 and 3 must be multiplied by what you get 30? Okay. So 10 multiplied by 5 is 50. So what is 300 minus 296? Sorry, 294 is 6. I'm thinking of the answer again. We change this to multiplication in tumble and times. It's multiplied by 30 over 51 minus 50. Is there anything that can cancel here? Yes, 10 goes into here 3 times, 10 goes into 17, 7 times. So 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 over. Which will also can be written as 2 and 2 over 7. Okay. Any confusion here? So that basically brings us to the end of book E, worksheet. Okay.